Extinction of the dinosaurs may be ancient history, but that history continues to be rewritten thanks in part to a professor at New Mexico State University. As Chad Brummett discovered for New Mexico Frontiers, our state could play a crucial role in better understanding the timeline that led to the disappearance of those giants. It's a story most of us think we know. An adventure. Look out! 65 million years in the making. 65, 66, give or take a million years. The popular theory is that approximately 66 million years ago, a massive asteroid measuring between six to nine miles wide slammed in to what is now the Gulf of Mexico. That collision triggered what is now known as the Cretaceous Paleogene event, which killed off roughly 75% of all life on Earth. Our record of this event, we actually, like, the public knows tons of dinosaurs from the end of the Restrictian because they're really famous. Things like Triceratops and T-Rex and Amontosaurus, like from Hell Creek region. But were the dinosaurs predisposed to disappear during an extinction level event? Were they dwindling in numbers and diversity? In other words, would dinos have survived even if that asteroid never hit our planet? The things that survive this extinction tend to be things that are small mm -hmm. um, and can burrow and can live in the water. Andrew Flynn, an associate professor of geological sciences at NMSU, has been searching for dino clues in the northwestern part of the state for more than 14 years. And the work he's doing has challenged a long-discussed theory that dinosaurs were on the decline well before impact. So the geologic unit called the Nostroibato member of the Kirtland and Fruitland formations has been known for a long time to have a really unique and diverse set of dinosaurs. And so it's dominated by this 100 foot long, long neck sauropod dinosaur called Alamosaurus, and there's Tyrannosaurus rex and there's other things. For years, the mecca of dino discovery has been the Hell Creek Formation, which stretches through the Dakotas, Wyoming, and Montana. Scientists have utilized data mined from this area for years, but it only provides, as Flynn says, a single data point in the timeline of dinosaurs in North America. It's a great data point, but it's only one. And now we have two data points and they're really different from each other. Flynn is the lead author on a new study that reveals dinosaurs were doing a lot better than we thought just before the asteroid hit. Dinosaurs were clearly being partitioned into different, like think of these like different ecosystems across North America and they have really different dinosaurs in them. And so this doesn't seem to be a, like there is no implication that they're preconditioned for extinction leading up to the mass extinction. The understanding, at least in New Mexico, was that these dinosaurs are actually quite a bit older than originally. They were, they were assumed to be older because the dinosaurs were so different than everywhere else. New Mexico was home to a number of species unique to the Southwest region, including the Alamosaurus. And up until Flynn's discovery, they were believed to have lived hundreds of thousands of years before the Hell Creek Formation samples in Montana. But that's not the case. They're not just from the end of the Cretaceous. They're from the last, like, few hundred thousand years, right before the impact. Which, for humans, is a long time, but for geologic time, it's essentially the very last community of dinosaurs. So why does all of this matter? Well, a lot of it has to do with our understanding of extinction-level events. If the environment that fosters and feeds life is compromised, could larger species, like humans, survive a similar catastrophe? We don't know how long it takes the dinosaurs to go extinct, but it's clearly very fast. While there are still many questions to be answered, Flynn is certain of one thing. The San Juan Basin here in New Mexico is ripe for discovery into our past, and more research needs to be done. So I think this really highlights like New Mexico's potential for being a really awesome place to do paleontology. For New Mexico Frontiers, I'm Chad Brummett. Well, Flynn says New Mexico's data set will play an important role in getting a better picture of the pre-extinction timeline. It is still relatively early in its process.